of the challenges we have with cuffing people is when they lock their arms out strong. It's a really strong guy. He's anchored into the ground and he doesn't want to give me his arms. I'm pulling, I'm trying to take the arm in. So from here, what I want to do is I have to replace my knee pressure that I have on his back to my elbow and shoulder. Now my shoulder becomes an anchoring point so that he can't get up and I'm not creating enough space. From there, I'm grabbing with both arms and I'm pulling this arm into my body. And then moving with my shoulder, pivoting on his back, keeping him anchored, using my whole arm to get that arm locked up. From there, I go into my normal pinch. From here, I can go two on one, grab a hold of the bicep, and pull the arm in, getting a, getting a hold of it. So no matter how far he, how hard he locks into the ground, I use my entire body to move one side and my and both arms two on one to pull that opposing arm, that far side arm, in so I can get him properly cuffed. With my knee on back, I'm always anchoring my assailant down to the ground. I have my knee pressure. I also like to put my hand between the shoulder blades to anchor him in. If he tries to rise up, I've got good pressure coming down on his body with two different points of contact keeping him down. And if he's a really strong guy and he anchors his arms out, he's not giving me that arm to cuff. Give me your arm, give me your arm. He's not doing it. So the way I transition, I'm keeping this hand here. My elbow replaces my knee. So I'm keeping that two points of anchor in and my hand is replaced by my shoulder. As my shoulder comes down on his back, I use both arms to pull the arm into my chest and I pivot on his back, getting that arm back. I turn on my tiptoes all the way across and pivot, keeping that constant pressure on his shoulder. My shoulder is then replaced with my knee as I anchor in and I have his near side arm. I have his arm on the inside of my thigh, pinching my knees together, having good control of this arm. Now I need to get the opposing arm. I lean all the way forward. And I'm always using my lat muscles, my back muscles to pull them in. As I pull up, I'm anchoring this arm back, keeping him anchored. I have good knee pressure on his shoulder, knee pressure on his lower back, keeping him anchored. And now I feel comfortable with cuffing. I also am postured up, so I've got good situational awareness around me in case there's any additional threats that come up. Suspect, do not move. Give me your hands. Roll your side. Have any weapons on you? No. All right, set your butt. Bring your feet in. Stand on three. One, two, three, stand. 